Hello, I'm Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Battle Brothers. So we finished previous episode in Blankholm where they told us about some uh, legendary armor to the northwest, I think, west or northwest, but in this direction. So uh, I decided to check it out. I didn't even make it to the mountain. Uh, I met uh, a small group of nomads, but there is a nomad executioner amongst them. And this is the first time I've seen a nomad, a nomad executioner. So yeah, we definitely want to attack, figure out who the executioner is. Uh, my guess would be it's like a nomad version of a hedge knight, probably. But, uh, well, we'll find out. And then I'd like to try to find the armor, or at least the location where the armor is supposed to be. Uh, is there anything we want to do before we attack? I don't think so. And I think they actually moved towards us. So they feel like they're strong enough to fight. Okay. Oh, this looks like a 230 point armor, some garbage helmet, I think, and the 200 hammer. <coughs> Excuse me, let me grab, grab a drink. Uh, that doesn't look super strong. Does he have any interesting... He has battle forged. Hmm. Basically a hedge knight, maybe slightly weaker hedge knight. Okay. <laughs> it's two thirty or two two eighty five. That's that's two eighty five, right? So maybe well, he has a two-handed hammer, so I, unless he panics, I probably don't want to risk stabbing him. That could hurt if he hits. So I probably should pull it safe. We definitely want the hammer, though. Because then I would be able to give uh, Albrecht the proper weapon. Wait, wait. Uh, spear wall on this side. Wait... No, unfortunately I can't hit the archers. I wouldn't mind hitting this guy or maybe this guy. Okay. What's the chance here? 66, 48. I guess I'll take 66. So far so good. Oh, that was a good turn. And you know what? Let's try one shot here, which hit as well. Perfect. I'm thinking about moving forward, but there are still all four arches. Now I'll just stay. We all let them waste their action points. Come on. Did they hit every single attack this turn? Let's try to finish off this one. Perfect. Maybe start working on this guy. Okay, so far so good. Hmm. If I move here and then move Cyril forward, the executioner won't be able to hit anybody, I think. Also, Hadebrand, let's do something useful and lock these two in place. 
Kill this one. Oh, I have one goal for this episode. I need to start using... Uh, I actually don't have him on the field now. I don't remember the name. But um, the other Mace Master properly. I need to remember to attack switch weapons and attack with the dagger. That's what the build is about or is supposed to be about. And I forget about the dagger every single time. So, if... The belt looks just weaker than what it's supposed to be. Okay, I could try to get some kills. I don't have killing friends, so maybe I should try to get it up. And now we'll try to do something about the executioner. Are they still gonna fight? Yep. Just want the overwhelm stacks. Let's see what he's gonna do. I'll take that. Need four. See if we can finish with this one. Nope. Excellent. Maybe I could still try to step him to death. Now when he's stunned. But no, I'm too far. If I move forward to switch weapons, then I won't be able to attack. Uh I'll just try to kill him as quickly as possible. Probably play it safe just in case. Oh, really? Probably don't need to waste ammo here. So I guess that's, for me, a new type of enemy that I want to look for. Because even though they don't have the best loot, or maybe just got unlucky and there is a chance that they have, they'll have something unique. But, I mean, 285 point armor, 200 hammer, for now, good enough. Did we get the hammer? We did. Okay, that's what we wanted. I was still hoping that there will be like 1%. Or the, the armor at like 1%. But I'm not sure that would be worth it, uh, repairing. Mm -hmm. I think I probably should fix that first. And which way do we go? Let's go here this way and I'll climb the mountain 
here probably. Oh, surprise, surprise. We have like five at this point, these necrosavant locations, where we know that there is a, a legendary item. Just out of curiosity. What do you think, guys? Is this good enough? If we had the hammer, um, 37, we need some minor repairs anyway. So if I wait it till, actually we can fight during the night, it doesn't matter, we have no archers. So we just wait until we fix everything and then we attack. It's not gonna take 25 hours. It's gonna take 10 maybe if we set up a camp. Oh, more nomads. Do you have more executioners perhaps? No. Pretty sure they'll just ignore us, yep. So how long is it gonna take now? 12 hours. But we don't need to fix the hammer completely right 50 percent something like that should be enough so there's gonna be some damage on this armor and then there'll be some damage here 60 percent is more than enough so i give fritz oh he doesn't have a master yep forget about that but all that's gonna do Doesn't do anything with smite. For this fight, we don't want to destroy or demolish armor. Oh, we don't have the stack anyway. Never mind. Um, and slightly more fatigue. With A to one, that shouldn't be a problem. Thirty defense is pretty solid for level eight without the shield. Plus 10 resolve against undead, that's actually useful as well. Also, I actually can and should take Hadebrand with me. Where's the highest defense? Mug my frontliners. 35, it's air hard. I want to have strong frontline, force the uh, vampires to fly, beh fly behind me and then do rotation. Ten people is actually pretty good. I'd like to have more people with 200 weapons. But I think we'll be fine. Or fine. We'll probably take quite a lot of damage, but we should be able to survive this. And win this without losing anyone. Unless we get like super unlucky. is the eight 
76 chance to hit. And Hakon is the one I need to uh, learn to play with. Almost. So here, I probably just want to shield wall and nothing else. Uh, save stamina. Albrecht is gonna stay where he is. On this side, we want to get as many of them as possible to get some extra uh, melee defense. And that's it. On this side, shield wall, maybe poke this guy. Move. Crap. So I think I kill at least one of them. I have no idea how this one survived. Crap. Well, actually, we still have a chance. 17%. Hmm. Nope. I could unleash the dog. Problem with, with dogs and uh, Necrosavant is that for them... It's just a way to heal. So, even if I knew that the dog kills this guy, it's probably in the long run not something that I want to do. Okay, hopefully we don't get hit too many times now, or if we do, it's not gonna be on just one person. Fine. They keep attacking our tanks. And the fight is already over. This is also pretty good. This should be a very nice attack. So, Hakon. For this, we want to switch back. Um, for attack. And I kind of want to protect his flank. Should be also good. <sighs> Should probably start looking at the chance to hit 81. Good. Let's go single time here. Now we are getting somewhere. So far, so good. Hmm, sorry, I don't remember Sorrel's uh, melee defense. What I do remember is that he had 17% chance to hit. But I think I'm still gonna do it. And hit. Good. Okay, is it? That's a little more damage than I expected. Nope. One can do it. Excellent. Wait. That's too far. Oh, I thought that this guy already had nine lives proc. Um, Erhard is having a hard time. There is another kill. Let's try again. Better. And nothing. Let's start stacking up. So now they're gonna fly down? No. That's a weird move. Yeah, this is what I expected them to do. Good. Well, that was pretty easy. 
which means we can now clear all of those locations. We know that at least three or four more have guaranteed uh, unique items and then there are like probably five more where it's very likely there will be uh, legendary items. This is not a great start. 166 minus 11. I mean, for some of our nimble people, it's definitely a pretty significant upgrade. Okay, I'll, I'll take it. We have four nimble archers and two or three nimble frontliners. And finally, this is an armor. Word of an attachment. Um, hmm. Do I have attachments on all? No. This one doesn't have an attachment. We can sell this. Harkon gets the armor. Uh, what are we going to add? For now, Guess the high enough fair mantle, and later we'll see. Later, I think I'll switch for something that reduces maybe a range damage or something like that. This will be fine for now. 181 for minus 11. Not bad. I need to rebuild the front line a little bit. Uh, so Sorel definitely stays. He's gonna be here. Hendrik will take a break. One. One more person for the front line. Okay, let's take Henrik. Hmm, something like this, I guess. Okay, where do we go next? Let me actually check. One, two, three. This one that was skeletons, so that's a different story. Four. Pretty sure there is more, I just don't see it. Five. Ah, oh, so it's five. I thought we knew about more. And we know that this, these two. Actually, no, this is this, these are skeletons. So, one, two. Maybe I should go this way and then, then here. Or we can go back to Rasanan, then sail to Blangholm or Sundheim and go here. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna explore along the way a little bit, I guess. Uh, how long until we fix everything? That's gonna take some time.
Okay, this should help a bit. This looks like these look like orcish tracks. It's actually pretty disappointing. Didn't find anything at all. But I'm happy that uh, we can now kill vampires and it looks actually pretty safe so we should get some uh, upgrades uh, some pretty good upgrades well I, sh I shouldn't say pretty good upgrades i know my luck so it's possible that it's just gonna be like five uh, light armors, which I mean, it's okay, but not exactly what we are after. What is this? Drive of Nomads. North. I just came from there. Northeast. How much do you guys pay for stuff like this? Bought it for 325. Actually, can make some money. Okay, let's buy. I mean, sell that. Uh, we need seven more. I think this is a little too expensive. Okay, Shimmering Ashes. We're gonna need that to summon a Kraken. So I have to make sure that I keep... I think it's five to summon a Kraken. Ah, whatever. Oh, I'm gonna lose one gold in that, but it's okay. We need some more food. Is there anything that we don't have? We don't have cheese that's ridiculously expensive well, okay i'm gonna buy cheese and bread even for this price maybe some fresh rice this is something that or someone with potential nope that's not good enough with, with two star melee skill would this be No, it still wouldn't be good enough. Okay, go away. Oh, got the, um, guys, by the way, is it possible to get um, 
or to buy the potion that resets perk points in the alchemist shop or is it the only potion that uh you have to craft and it's the only way how to get it i'm not sure i don't think i've seen it yet but i wasn't really paying that much attention until now uh i guess it would be pretty damn expensive it would be, it would be a couple thousand gold but actually might be worth buying from time to time so that would definitely be easier to buy than to craft <clears throat> so if anybody knows please let me know in comments and do we care about the the brigand or the, the nomad cap probably not let's sail north uh through Wikstad. Want to check recruits again. No, it's probably the same bunch as the last time. Uh, yeah, nothing changed. What about some news? Nope. Okay, let's go. I want to see the garrison. I don't think I'm gonna attack today, but I still want to see what we're gonna be up against next time. Let me see if many Negro 7 is the same thing again. So, and uh, also, I'll check the map once again of Camera uh, because I think we know about more than like four of these locations all right it's also possible that uh, uh in the multiple different towns when they were talking about these legendary items they were talking about uh, one uh, location for example these two cities would probably be both talking about this one so maybe i just thought we knew about more than there is on the map but we'll see uh, we are done with this episode, so I hope that you liked it. I hope that you're going to join me next time again. Now, until then, have a good time. Bye-bye.